Okay, this is uh, pre Coachella shopping. Yeah. We've got Todd the Bot and Scott. Scott the Thought. <laughs> the guys went shopping for Coachella, and I thought to myself, oh, maybe I'll get some shorts at Urban Outfitters. And then I remembered, I'm like 70. There's nothing in this store for me. The place looks like a gift shop at a college campus. <laughs> Why are you gonna wear jeans at Coachella? You gonna wear jeans? Maybe. Yeah? At night. Yeah, yeah, are yeah, we yeah. gonna go back to the house, then yeah. come back out at night? I think we're stressing Todd out. We're stressing me out too. David, how do they fit, honey? Yeah. David? Yeah. David, come on out and show me. How do they fit? Are you in here? Dad. Are you over here? Come on, let me take a look. No, you're embarrassing me. Do you need the 34s? Can I come in? No, mom. Come on, David, let me in. Do they hug your butt? Huh? Do they hug your butt? They hug my butt. Let me see your butt. Where's Scott? Dad, get out of here. Scott. You think it's why? I like it though. I like the style. I guess my opinion doesn't mean shit. He has to run after Scott. What about my opinion? You could have just asked me. You're embarrassing me. How are they through the crotch? So listen, uh, Wyatt. He really looks up to you. He does? Yeah, he does. He's, he loves drinking Josh and because that's really cool he came over today. I mean, this isn't... It's not the best environment for them, is it? We had the bombs and... That's nice. Yeah, but, you know, unless, unless they, they go for a snack. You keep the bombs in the, in the snack drawer? You keep the weed pipes next to the fruit by the foot? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's tough logical. You keep the rolling paper by the dunkaroos. Yeah, I get the munchies. <laughs> since, since he looks up to you, why don't you just say some nice words to Wyatt about me? You know, say some nice things about me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being serious. Just let him know <laughs> how, how integral I am to the vlogs. Like, you know, what a big contribution I made to David's vlog. Being good coming from you. I'm not sure how. I'll, I'll go get him. Wait, I, uh, Wyatt! Josh wants to talk to you. Sup, dude? Yeah. <laughs> TV star. Yeah, so your dad, you know, uh, mentioned, well, he didn't, he didn't mention, but, you know, I just wanted to tell you how much fun I have with your good old pops. What's cool about him is that he's got a really steady hand, so when he's filming, it doesn't shake the camera much. Also, he almost always remembers to hit record. Credibility. <laughs> right there, Josh vouching for me. Successful <laughs> by way of connection. So successful also. And he's so funny the way nothing changes between real life and the vlog. You know, like when he goes on those rants, like, oh, my life's falling apart. Oh, I never made it. It's like, he's doing that whether the camera's on or off, which is cool. And he's always in character because he doesn't know how to be a real actor. I keep it real, <laughs> you know? And yeah, remember that, always keep it real and let everything bleed out of you, even if it makes people uncomfortable. I mean, you become an actor, okay? You get on the big screen, you make a lot of money. I don't really want to be an actor. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're, you'll come around on it. He's, don't worry, I'll, I'll push him. Can you give us a second? Yeah, I'll have a little hard talk. Oh, that'd be great. Later, Jay. Yeah. Come on. Please. Why, you, you got to abandon ship here. You know, you're a smart kid. You got a good brain in there. The whole world is in front of you, but you got to get rid of your dad. You are the beautiful, shimmering Titanic with Kate Winslet and Leonardo DiCaprio enjoying this beautiful romance. But your father is that iceberg. He's that big, stupid iceberg just waiting to crash into you and to sink your million dollar ship. So I want you to think about letting me adopt you. Okay? <laughs> uh, hi to Maureen. How did it go? Great. So tell me some of the things that Josh said about me. You wanna go, uh, you wanna go play some hoops? <laughs> All right, my man, Kobe. <laughs> Wyatt and I are really bonding. Remember my name? Drake. <laughs> great. I'm great with kids. I'm a Disney star. You know? God. Wyatt, this is like every kid's dream, and you're just kind of like, eh, hope I beat him. Yeah. How does this no big deal for you? That's like my kids do not care about David and Liza. But every other kid would be so stoked. Like, hey, you are Wyatt Nash from the Nash Family Vlogs? <laughs> Work. Seems Josh's years on a TV set have not done him well on the court. It's great to have a kid. They, they're happy to chase it. <laughs> yeah, it's great. <laughs> oh, I'll get it. I'll grab it. <laughs> Menial task. <laughs> Dave with the rare clothing purchase. 
I'm psyched though. Let me see what you got. I like this. Thank you. Uh, purple rain tour. You're making a tribute to Prince? Yes. Fucking douche. Yeah, hey, you think these shorts will make you look gay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're not gonna find clothes because you're too broad. Yeah. And that always happens. I buy stuff, it just doesn't fit me right. Wait, is this a gang sign? Yeah, I wouldn't wear that in Indio, man. Oh yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I didn't see you guys there. Those aren't bad. What? I like them. I like them. No, seriously. No, I'm being dead serious. They look good. But you're like, you're joking when you say they're good, right? <laughs> I took you about a half hour to finally just at least try them on. I, I just, I have to try them on, you know? You Let's go check them out. If I don't like them, I'll give them to Matt as a gift. Yeah, I'm so self-conscious about clothes. I'm thinking about just wearing nothing. Scott, honey? Mama's down here. Are you all right? Fine. Are you okay, honey? I'm fine. Do you Stop. need help? Stop it. You want me to come in there? No. I can slide under. Jason, he's fine. Let him, let him try on his clothes. Get out of here, David. I'm trying to help. Oh, you're not going to let us... Oh, that's not Scott. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here, David. Please, can we go? Go, let's go. Let's go. No, we're going back in. We're going back You're in. You apologize? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Oh, you're Don't apologizing. Me. Come on. I did. I apologize. No, you guys no it's going to make it worse. No, come on. Jason was in there for so long. He was under there for literally 30 seconds. And after the 20th second, I'm like, oh, this is funny. I'll start recording. That's how long he was under there for. And he didn't realize I was another person. Jason goes underneath the guy and he goes, he goes, Scott, you out there? You done, Scott? <laughs> I fucking, I can't believe I did that. And lucky David, he was recording. Of course. Hey, I'm really sorry. My friend was in the next thing. I'm so sorry. Oh, was this Scott talking to us? <laughs> he was. He was talking, but it's it's hard to tell what door people are behind. Jason, how were you under there for so long and you didn't recognize that it wasn't Scott? I, I don't I don't know. I couldn't see his face. All I saw was his butt. are very, very sleepy. I want you to let go of all of your problems and relax and breathe slowly. Let everything go. Let your mind wander through the sky, through the trees. There is no one to be concerned with. There is no problems with the world. When you let go into deep, deep relaxation, we find ourselves drifting, drifting far, far away. What's up, everybody? Please hit like and subscribe. Tweet me at Jason Nash. Instagram.